Hello everyone, it is Andrew from MAO Magic, and I'm here with the second generation Hidden Radio, so Hidden Radio 2. First one was launched on Kickstarters to massive success, and the new one is out now, which is the Hidden Radio 2, uh, which notably lacks the actual radio feature. While the first one actually had a built-in like radio antenna, the second one drops it but keeps the same name, which means it does one thing and one thing only, and that is acts like a speaker. So it has two forms of input using this uh, this charging an audio cable that ships with it, or using Bluetooth. It packs in Bluetooth 4.0, working on most new Android and iOS devices. So uh, accessories aside, let's take a look at the speaker itself. So we have this kind of neat packaging where it kind of shows you on like the top where the buttons actually are because it has like this capacitive touch buttons on the top as well as three actual manual buttons here on the bottom. The ones on the top are kind of the play controls and the ones at the bottom are kind of the more advanced features that we're going to get into. A quick thing to note, a lot of the features are kind of the really cool ones such as like the auto stereo, like when you get home it automatically connects and starts playing, the alarms in the morning, all of those things will not work yet because those are going to rely on an iOS and Android app launching in the near future. If we take a look at the undercarriage of the device, the first one we have is the pair and the on button. The second one is the multi-room button, which allows you to put one of these in each different room of the house and kind of play in one or multiple rooms at once, as well as stereo, so you can put like one on like the left and right of your MacBook or iPad and listen to stereo movies. We're gonna go ahead and power it on here by simply pressing that first button. We're gonna get that light on the front and we're gonna have that fancy magic lift technology that's gonna open up the top of this. Uh, if you wanna see that again, we can go ahead and hold on the top for a couple seconds and it'll go back down. Uh, one thing to note, even though in the video it's pretty silent, this is relatively noisy. It is not some magic silent motor that just raises up. It is kind of a geary worry noise as it's going up and down. However, it does look pretty cool. Aside from just looking neat, it also adds a little bit more space in there for the base. Simply to connect, we can just go into our Bluetooth settings, click on Hidden Radio 2. You can forget and remove that device if you need to, but we're simply going to connect to it, and you'll see it'll say Connected. Now we launch our music app or anything that has like the AirPlay audio. You can see it'll be an option simply from that little AirPlay icon on the Now Playing screen. Aside from playing from standard music apps, their app will allow it to have like a schedule of music. So it plays, you know, certain times based on your schedule. It'll have autoplay. So when you get home, it'll automatically rise and start playing as well as a smart alarm and the multi-room setup. Both those are going to be pretty cool particularly multi-room, which is basically something only Sonos and a few others have done. But these will be able to connect to other speakers, to several others. You can put them in different rooms of the house and play to one or multiple, which is a very, very intriguing feature. As I mentioned, the top is that capacitive button, so you can tap it to start and pause your music. It has a microphone built inside, so you can go ahead and do uh, speakerphone voice calls, anything like that on here. And if you run your finger around the edge, that's going to control the volume. As far as build quality, while it looks really nice, the bottom grill on mine was starting to come off a little bit, which was a little bit disheartening because it's still a $179 speaker. The top of it as well, while it is that way for kind of Bluetooth radio scenarios, the top of it is only plastic, which is kind of a bummer because even though they don't kind of mention or point it out, it definitely looks like it's metal and they have like, you know, the silver option as well and it definitely looks like metal. So if you were kind of expecting it to be this really high-end Bose quality metal speaker, you're going to be a little bit disappointed. Uh, there is a charging cable as well. Simple micro USB will work just fine, but this also packs an audio cable. So if you cannot use Bluetooth, this is another way to go. And while I am no audiophile, I did want to mention here as far as the auto quality goes, it is a very good audio quality, much better than most speakers, and it does have true 360 degree sound, which is pretty great. The only problem is it's not quite as loud and maybe does not have enough bass as a lot of people would want. So while I can't give you a full, this is how great it is, type of scenario I can tell you decently loud not as loud as I would like and maybe a little bit more bass but it is very clear and it is a little bit higher quality much better higher quality than the original hidden radio uh, aside from this nice little cable that they've added they've also thrown in a nice little carrying pouch which since this is plastic would be a very big concern of mine not wanting to scratch or ruin the outside of this especially since it's a little bit cheaper materials than it initially leads on in kind of their promo stuff it looks a little bit more higher end materials than what it actually ships with however that's not a killer by any means it's still a very very nice product and a very nice bluetooth speaker if we're going to go ahead and look at the pros and cons of the Hidden Radio 2, we can break it down. 
Top of the list, it has a great design. It is very unique and modern looking and looks like the nice new Mac Pro. It has good sounding audio. It has really nice controls that are very different and multi-point audio could be a killer for some people. If we take a look at the flip side and look at the cons of the Hidden Radio 2, it does have cheaper materials, so compared to a Bose or something like that, it's a little bit on the cheaper end. The capacitive touch buttons on top can be a little bit tough, especially going around in the circle. The motor is noisy. Unfortunately, it is not as silent as we would hope. Unfortunately, though, it also is not loud enough on the other parts as well. So too loud motor, not loud enough speaker. If you are interested, you can pick up a pair of two for 350 or one for 179 Throw up any questions in the comments. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.